2020. For the start of this fabulous new year, I went to a 1920s inspired party, which really, I, you know, I love a good theme and I love a good reason to dress up and make a fantastic outfit. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how we made a fringe skirt out of velvet. This one's pretty simple, but something that I totally love because you can add as much fringe as you want. Because a lot of people at the party had ordered stuff and they kind of looked at me and they were like, I wish my outfit had more fringe. And I was like, well, you can always add more fringe. That is the best part. So this shirt is actually one that I found at the thrift store a while ago. I think I paid like eight bucks for it. I thought it was just absolutely stunning. It has all this beadwork. And the best part is, this is actually stretchy. A lot of times shirts with a lot of beadwork have no stretch to them because, you know, beadwork doesn't give a lot of room for stretch. But I mean, this thing, like you can eat an entire turkey and still have space to breathe. Like it is fabulous. And I paired it with this fringe skirt, which is actually velvet. So it's very pretty and luxurious and has a great feel to it. But also it has so much stretch to it. So again, you can eat a turkey dinner and no one will know what you're doing. So let's get started. I found this velvet skirt at the thrift store. I think it was honestly about a dollar. I've actually had it in my inventory forever. And because it was a little big on the waist, I'm actually only going to put the fringe in the middle section. So I'm going to pin just above my knee and then I'm going to cut that amount off. Sorry guys that it's blurry. You know, life happens with cameras, but now it's a short little mini skirt. And then I'm just gonna hem the skirt once. And then I bought this fringe off Amazon. I will leave a link below because this fringe was awesome and it was super, super affordable. And I'm actually using a Kroger receipt as my guide for how to space out this fringe. And this works super well. You want the fringe to overlap some, but you don't want it to overlap too much. So honestly, using this receipt that was just laying around was absolutely perfect. Using my sewing machine, I'm just gonna go all the way around the skirt and sew the fringe on. Make sure none of the fringe flaps back over and gets caught and then you are done. This is super simple. It's something you can literally make in under an hour and then you can have so much fringe on your skirt and you can dance and you can twirl. Woohoo! So that is all for the tutorial. This skirt is super simple to make. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can also just hand sew this or you can use some fabric glue. Super simple, absolutely love the way it turned out. And also like you can get some serious hip movement going, which is absolutely fabulous. I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic start to the new year and I hope your 20s is fabulous just the way the 1920s would have been. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It always helps me and it just makes me feel great. And I mean, why not feel great this brand new year? If you guys are not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button down below because I make tons and tons of DIY and upcycling videos and I'd love to have you as part of my DIY family, especially again in this new year. Let's, let's do something awesome for another person. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe. It'll be fabulous. I hope you guys have a fantastic week, fantastic new year, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!